live. I'm so nervous. Carolina Pratenko is a 14-year-old violinist, singer, and dancer whose pop song covers have been watched over a billion times on YouTube and have landed on many celebrity TV shows. Now, as a classical violinist who has also given my fair share of performances in front of some pretty important people and some pretty big crowds too, the question I have is, does the average person prefer pop music over classical? Now, to find out, we're gonna go busking on the streets of LA, where unlike in a concert hall, anyone is free to walk away if they don't like the performance. Oh my gosh, Carolina. Oh, uh, it's you. How's it going? I'm doing good. How are yeah. you? Oh my gosh, good. I are you ready for this? I'm so nervous. I yes, my me heart too. is pounding. You're nervous? No, excited. excited. You're excited. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say if you're nervous, nervous then what I, what am I going to do? Anyway, let's get let's get mic'd up and do this. Great. It feels like people are going about minding their own business. They they don't have time to like notice us right now. I mean, some do. It, the challenge is going to be like trying to grab their attention. Mhm. Mm That's usually never a problem. Really? For you. Well, well, what do you yeah. think I should do? You should smile at people. Just be like... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I should do that. Okay, what yeah. else? You do dance. Like, yeah. like, like so what's the, like, like the, the way to move? Oh, I think, you know what would be cool? To do some lunges while playing... Lunges? Uh, yeah, the... <laughs> okay, I'll practice this move. I got this. I got oh. this. Then also a fuate, like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, while playing. I think you'll attract a lot of attention. Okay, but what's not to do? What should I not do then? Don't be weird. Don't be weird. How? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what's weird? Oh, be yourself. Be myself. Mm hmm. Who am I? You are Ray Chen, a famous violinist. A little warm up. Oh, stretching. stretching, yeah. Okay. One, two. It's everything, you know? Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. Yeah, okay. A nervous is a good feeling actually because you're nervous about the way you play and the way you do stuff to like make it your best. Mm, it's, it's because you care. Yes, because you care. What are you nervous about? I don't know, just messing up. Messing up? Yeah. Oh, you get nervous about that too? Yeah. But you improvise, right? You like, yes. yeah, you know. But in classical gosh. music, you can't improvise. Oh, so you're nervous about classical music? Yes. You're not nervous about this? For oh my gosh, we're like the opposites. Oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. We're getting close. Well, first I'm playing, so. Yeah, you, that's right. You can, you I can gotta, observe. I'm gonna see how it's done by yes. the master. All right. amazing though. Okay, so as you can see, I'm super nervous at this moment, and I'm really trying to take in Carolina's words to be confident and be myself. But to be honest, the only thing that's going through my brain right now is, please don't mess up in front of everyone. And that's the thing, whether you're performing or giving a speech, anything where the end result requires you to be in front of people does take practice. And that's where Tonic comes in. It's an app I built where people from all around the world can come together, meet and gather and practice the thing that they love in a community. You can either open a public or private practice room depending on your goals. And there are streaks as well as badges to help you stay motivated. The best part about it is that it's completely free. So give it a try today. Download Tonic from the link in my description below and I'll look forward to seeing you in the practice room. All right, back to the streets. Hey everyone, I'm Ray and I am a classical violinist. So I'm gonna be introducing you to a bit of Johann Sebastian Bach. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. This is some uh, more Bach, what you would usually hear in the concert hall, like at the LA, uh, LA Phil concert hall. of all these summer third movement. Thank you, thank you. Well, and because, you know, I'm here with Carolina's guest, I feel like I gotta do something a little special, something that I don't usually do, and that I've always wanted to try, which is playing, playing a pop song. Yeah, it's actually gonna be my first time. This is, we don't talk anymore. Thank you for being so supportive. <laughs> oh, I'm just all oh, that was my first first pop song experience. So thank you so much. Yo. That was oh so good. Oh my gosh. Your classical playing, your technique you is just okay? it was amazing. Congratulations on uh, playing pop song. Oh my gosh, like that was the first song. I made my pop song debut thanks to you. So I, I was watching you. I was like, "Oh my gosh, you're owning this entire promenade. I won't even say stage because this is your, the entire place is your stage. That's so cool. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Sure. Okay. Did you enjoy the performance? Sure. Oh. Just, 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 you're, you're just some, some walk by violinist. Of course, you're, you're just some walk by violinist. Okay. How about classical music out in a place like this? What do you think? What you're supposed to do. It's great. It's terrific. So what did you think of the performance? Uh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, did you like the classical music? I do, yeah. So I'm curious like what you thought of the classical music being played on in a in a space like this that is definitely not a concert hall. What are you what are your thoughts about that? I thought it's interesting that when you when you use like the amplifier of the sound, like you wouldn't tell how good the instrument is. You would think all the instruments sound kind of similar. So that was kind of interesting. So so did my sound sound good? Or is that really good? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, really good. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. You know, I always knew that people were gonna love the pop music, but I gotta say I was genuinely and pleasantly surprised when people seem to have taken a liking to the classical as well. And you know, it's fun to think, what if things were reversed? What if we placed the pop music inside the classical music concert hall with no context? How would people react? And you know what? I think that they would love it. People tend to love things that they feel connected to. And when musicians share and communicate what they're doing, you can't help but feel affected by it. I mean, it's very similar to what we encourage everyone to do every day on Tonic. And so after today, 
I believe in this more than ever, that there isn't necessarily a better or worse like pop versus classical, but that people do tend to base their preferences on things how they experienced it for the first time. And so yeah, hopefully we managed to create some special memories for people today. I think the oh. people enjoyed it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for inviting me out. This of was course. A fun experience. Thanks. See ya. <laughs>